Good afternoon. I'm Alan Erdman, the president of Lutheran Family and Children's Services, and it's my pleasure to welcome you all here today. The mission at Lutheran Family is to help families, children, and individuals experience greater hope and wholeness of life. That means that we pay attention to policies and laws that impact our clients and sister organizations providing adoption services. During the end of this year's legislative session, when bills were moving fast and furious, SB 67 was passed. The bill contains serious consequences for the thousands of families here in Missouri that have adopted children from outside of the U.S. or for families considering international adoption. Senate Bill 267 would spell disaster for children and families in addition to increasing the costs and processes that govern these adoptions. Fortunately, our political process provides opportunity to review legislation and un understand unintended consequences for Missouri citizens. We applaud Governor Nixon for vetoing this bill for the benefit of Missouri families and LFCS pledges to work with our elected representatives to ensure it is sustained. So before I introduce our guest today, I want to say thank you to all of you for being here and thank you, Governor Nixon, for being here today. Now please join me in welcoming the Honorable Jay Nixon, Governor of Missouri. Thank you, uh, Reverend Erdman. I appreciate your uh, uh, kind and, and uh, specific remarks. Also glad to be joined today by two members of the legislature, Representative Carla May and Representative Rory Ellinger. We appreciate uh, them not only being here to stand with us today, but equally importantly, uh, in areas involving adoption and child care, there literally are, uh, these, these are two of the real leaders of your legislature who work each and every day to make sure that kids uh, have what they need and families uh, are united whenever possible. I want to thank all the families, all the faith groups, and all the advocates for joining us here today. Uh, it is go as governor, it is my responsibility to ensure the bills to ensure the bills that become law help and don't hurt Missouri families and businesses. Because the laws passed in Jefferson City have real consequences for real families with real lives all across our state. And that is why, just a few hours earlier today, I vetoed Senate Bill 267. Senate Bill 267 seeks to invalidate any contract or court decision in Missouri based on foreign laws or foreign legal systems that are, quote, inconsistent with the Missouri or U.S. constitutions. Friends, there are certainly challenges facing our state and nation today, but the problems attempted to be designed by Senate Bill 267 just isn't one of those problems. And with so many priorities today that are deserving of our time and attention, priorities like creating good jobs, preparing our kids for 21st century careers, and protecting taxpayer dollars, this kind of demagoguery does a disservice to our constituents and the legislative process. Even worse, in seeking to solve a problem that does not exist, this legislation creates some very real problems for families and businesses. Senate Bill 267 would create uncertainty for Missouri companies and individuals who do business overseas. At the very time when exporting Missouri made goods to international markets is helping create good jobs right here at home in the Show Me State. This bill would also call into question the validity of marriage and divorce decrees and put other contractual agreements on shaky legal ground. Especially alarming, giving Missourians shared interest in supporting adoption and strengthening families is the fact the bill, that this bill could jeopardize a family's ability to adopt children from another country. As the families here know, adopting a child from a foreign nation is a long and challenging process. Thousands of Missouri families have stood in foreign consulates around the globe to complete their adoption journey. By calling into question whether a Missouri court could consider the laws of a child's birth country, this bill would make it harder for the adoptive parents to bring them home and start their new lives. Here in Missouri, we believe in strengthening families. We believe that every child deserves a loving home, 
And that's why we believe in encouraging couples who want to adopt, no matter where they must go, to find their son or daughter. By placing additional barriers between Missouri families seeking to adopt and children who need loving homes, Senate Bill 267 is quite simply out of step with Missouri's basic values. I want to recognize a number of groups that are with us today, the Jewish Community Relations Council and the Adoption and Foster Care Coalition of Missouri for speaking out strongly about the dangers of this bill. This coalition includes a broad array of groups providing frontline support to families seeking to adopt. And I appreciate their communicating directly to me in a written fashion right after the session about the need to veto this bill. Those groups would include a gift of hope, adoption, Bethany Christian Services, Catholic Charities, Child Center of Mary Grove, the Children's Home Society of Missouri, the Children's Permanency Partnership, Christian Family Services, Good Shepherd, Great Circle, Missouri Baptist Children's Home, the Missouri Coalition of Children's Agencies, Our Little Haven, and the Lutheran Family and Children's Service who is graciously hosting us here today. I applaud their efforts and their righteous work in helping families become whole, no matter how far they must go or how long they must search. I also want to thank the more than 5,800 Missouri families who have adopted children born in foreign lands since 1999 and the thousands more families who will seek to adopt in the years to come. There are so many families across the Show Me State who are eager to open their hearts and homes to children in need. And with this veto, we'll make sure the state of Missouri does not stand in the way. Thank you very much. And with that, I'd be glad to take any questions from the press. Uh, Governor, yes. why do you think the bill 